Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're doing another, uh, you know, sanctuary vlog today. So I actually got kind of a uh, chaotic start to the morning. Uh, we thought we had an appointment for Olaf, but it uh, turns out that was going to be tomorrow instead. So um, I didn't bother filming anything this morning because uh, I got up really early and was just kind of rushing through everything because I thought we were going and we had a little miscommunication there. Uh, so I didn't film, you know, feeding the pigs and the goats and the baby pigs or the chickens or any of that kind of stuff, but we can go ahead and continue throughout the rest of the day and still make a video out of it, you know? Joe Skunk, come here. There you go. Oh, look at that Joe Skunk. What are you going to go for first, huh? What are you going to go for first? He just loves sniffing everything. He's just... Look at his tail. Look at his tail. What are you looking at? It's so funny, like she's so food oriented and just obsessed with food. And then when you give her the food, she seems like she likes sniffing it more than eating it. Like, what are you gonna get? Oh, a pepper, ooh, peppers. I'm surprised she didn't go for the watermelon first. So, uh, you know, watermelon was a treat today and um, the Quadis were very happy with the watermelon. They really liked that. Um, I'm surprised she didn't really focus on the watermelon more. She really likes her peppers, don't you? You like your peppers. Peppers are her favorite. Yeah, I really see that. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty surprised. Now, um, in this enclosure, we, you know, we wired the bottom and everything. We raked it out before we put it down. And then we put down all this peat moss on here. But there's little plants starting to grow up in here around. And uh, some of them look like little um, blackberries. So I'm sure she'll be very happy if they turn out to be. But uh, yeah, I'm also curious to know she is planting some seeds herself. If you know what I mean. <laughs> what you doing? What are you doing, Hazel? Hi, Bean. Hi, Jelly Bean. Yeah, little boy. Jelly Bean's getting some, let's see, we got papaya, watermelon, Blueberry, blackberry, and softbill pellets. You happy? You happy, boy bean? Yeah. All right, so now we're in the small parrot aviary feeding the cockatiels and budgies. Oh, and Tango just landed on me. Hi, Tango. Hi. He's by far the friendliest one that we have. Hi, buddy. What are you doing, huh? You looking at yourself? Oh, I just want you on the phone. Yeah. So, yeah, he's our friendliest little cockatiel that we have in here. And uh, it's pretty nice in here right now. You know, this um, weather proofing really does make it nice in here. Even though today is a pretty cold day, it's pretty cold and windy out there. Uh, in here, these little guys are nice and warm, and we do have heating elements in here for them as well. I just can't wait until it warms up and we can take all these down, because it's going to be so much prettier in here. It's just, I hate having it plastic wrapped, you know, but it's good for the animals. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and feed the quaddies. So we got some nice bowls with, for them. We've got some sweet potato, watermelon, uh, freeze-dried raw patty, whole egg, some pepper, and then, what is that? What is what? Yogurt with cinnamon? Yogurt with cinnamon. There you go. And then the turkey tail mushrooms that Gabby puts on there. All right, so nobody's in here. So we got the doors closed, food in. Look at Lily, she's ready. Is she? Oh yeah. That's good. She's like right over here with everybody else. That's great.
go quality fishing. One. up the egg and yogurt right now. <laughs> Now we're going to feed Jet. Look at him. Oh, he's so excited up here. A little piece. Ow. <laughs> so he's so cute. I love it when he's up on his ramp right here. He loves being up on his ramp and looking at everything and checking everything out. But yeah, let me go ahead and go in there and give him his food. Now, if you guys did notice, when I come in here, we have uh, double doors right there. That way we can... Make sure nobody slips out. You want to come up the ramp? Come up the ramp. Come on. There you go. Oh, look at that happy boy. And bye. Just going to take it and make sure that I can't steal it from him, even though I gave it to him. So in here he's got uh, rabbit grinds, some watermelon, sweet potato, blackberry, and a little bit of yogurt too. But definitely his favorite thing in the world is the rabbit. And at night, when we have to bring him in at night, if you don't have rabbit, he's not coming in. <laughs> <laughs> he won't come in for any other kind of food. He's so funny. I know. He's so cute. I wonder if I stay back if he'll eat it up there. What if I hang out over here? What are you going to do? Come on, Jet. It's a beer. He thinks you have it. I know. Well, I should see what he does. Come here, Jet. He'll eat it up there as long as I'm over here, I guess. Oh, no, he's going to take that, I guess. <laughs> I'm surprised. I thought he would eat it over there. So you put taurine powder on these two, right? Mm -hmm. You want to explain what that is? Uh, foxes need it. It's just for overall healthy coat, healthy vision, healthy joints, skin, all of the above. It's just a, a necessary thing that they need. And um, all four of our boxes were never supplemented with taurine before they came to us. So we're yeah, definitely so making sure we do that. That is something that you could supplement anybody with, but it is necessary for fox supplementation, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you guys haven't heard me say it before, Gabby does all the diets. And Gabby used to be a vet tech as well. So she's 
are expert on all their food and dietary You give needs. me way too much credit. I just do a lot of research and I read a lot of forums and I'm in a lot of like Fennec Fox groups or... Just take the compliment. No, thank you. I just I have a little bit of like imposter syndrome because... Well, I try to... I, I'm definitely not the expert, I but I... I try to talk you up and you're like, <laughs> no, I suck. <laughs> well, thanks, babe. I appreciate it. All right, so now we're going to go feed the uh, red foxes. Only one of which is red. But, um, yeah, which is interesting, and a lot of people commenting on that, that these are all the red fox species, but only one of them is red. Um, She's not even a true red. Yeah. She's a wildfire. Yeah, yeah. So they're all um, fox, uh, what would you call it, like color morphs for the fur trade to be able to give different colored fur to people when they murder them all. And yeah, it's horrible. But that's why they are different colors though. Just in case anybody's wondering. Hi guys. Yeah. We have to see if Kira is still limping too. She's not. Oh, is she not? She's not. Awesome. Yeah, so I checked on him this morning and um, Kira is no longer limping, so. Which is what we thought. Which is what we thought. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Don't fight over food, you guys have. There's multiple bowls. It's so funny, they put their butt up though. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, you just, come on. You guys are so dumb. Hey, Shh. come here. <laughs> Hazel. Hi. Well. It's okay. They can eat like wild animals. <laughs> <laughs> I try to give you a bowl like a civilized fox but we prefer to eat off the floor. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they figured it out. Hazel, be nice. <laughs> Clover trying to sneak, sneak in a butt sniff. Uncle girl, you won't be friends with the foxes. So we've been spending about, I don't know, about 20 minutes a day, every day in here with them, just trying to acclimate and get them used to us and hopefully get them friendly. Yep, chewing on my boot. You chewing on my boot? I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, look at it! <laughs> with the molars. <laughs> They're so goofy. Why are you chewing on me? Look at this. Do you see a... <laughs> you know that's me, right? Oh. Hey, 
And that right there is a bite mark from Olaf this morning. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, uh, shout out to Brunt for sending me these, by the way. So they just sent me these boots. Uh, well, they sent me the boots a while ago. You can see they're pretty beat up. They sent me the jacket too. So, hey, thank you guys. But um, foxes want to eat the boots. <laughs> okay, you can put that in advertisement. So apparently they like to steal phones. We'll put it in the log. So we're gonna to try to put the phone down and see if one of them's gonna come up and be interested in it. Immediately went to pee on it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and let the quaddies out and try to spend some time with them. So normally we open up with the rope, but we're in here, so just... Oh, I know. I didn't put any today. <laughs> you don't get them every day. They're treats. Should I let out Lola or no? Sure. Oh, this one's attached. I got my wallet in there and it's zipped shut. That looks like cocoa. This one's Blanco. Lola's are... This probably is Lola. Maybe. I don't know. That's Blanco. Come on, Blanco. All the way, dude. <laughs> Come on, Chunky Come butt. on, Chunk. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Get. <laughs> Blanco. Through the door, dummy. Blanco. Come on, Chunky Butt. Oh. Come on. All right, wait. I got to close it and get this one off me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this. Oh, that's Griselda. Look at him. You like that? Oh. <laughs> The vine, yeah. I'm so happy they're using the vine. It looks so cool. Okay, I'm gonna try again to get one for a while. Don't jump on me. <laughs> She's gonna jump on me. Come on, Blanco. Quit taking. Oh my god, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> This is why you're supposed to open it with the rope and latch it <laughs> on the other side. You guys are making this very difficult. Look at what, I don't know what they're doing. He can leave Blanco in for now. <laughs> don't go down my shirt, please. Who is this? Who is that? 
It's either Gigi or Coco. <laughs> I think that's Gigi. They love this thing. Oh, that was almost the face. I blocked that. I was pretty close. I need a Brent jacket like that. That's like yeah? really. This jacket's pretty that's awesome. That's kawaii proof, huh? It, this is great for these guys. I don't feel their claws at all. You wanna jump? You wanna jump? Come here. Don't look at me. Come here, Lola. Come here, Lola. Remember when I got attacked over the toy? Yeah. Yeah. So Gabby was in with Lola and stepped on a squeaky toy that incited an unspeakable rage from Lola. For we have no idea why. <laughs> she attacked me. It's not funny because it actually was. <laughs> I was bleeding. Yeah, got her right in the foot. <laughs> in but, the um... back of the leg. Oh yeah, yeah. But it, I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't like that bad. But yeah, she definitely. It's did. funny now. <laughs> Over the squeaky toy. Over she's squeaky so cute, toy. but she's so bad. Can you see her face? No, it's her butt. No, just her butt. Just a big tail. Just a big tail. Turn around. Yeah. Hi, Lola. So Lola has like a very distinctive face. Like she has a narrow, narrower face and like beady eyes. You got beady eyes. And she loves Chris. She loves her daddy. The back of my neck is so sandy right now. <laughs> Just wet and sandy and what do we feed them? Sweet potato? <laughs> and yogurt. And yogurt. And eggs. Raw eggs. Raw eggs. Just I feel it all over the back of my neck right now. They like your fuzzy boots, huh? They do. All right, so a little update on our uh, food prep building here. So we had, uh, well, we've got the floors all done. We have a countertop here. We just did the laminate from the floor on here too. That way we have a, a nice cleanable surface people to cut on. Uh, the tape's just here right now holding this piece in to keep it glued together. So that'll set right there. And then uh, we just had a shelf put in up here too. So that goes the whole way right there. That way we can store all of our stuff up on here. Actually do food prep on this right here. Uh, we have our electrical outlets. We put this in here yesterday with some of the uh, animal food already in here. And then um, now we're just trying to source some fridges and freezers to put in here. So um, I made a post about it, hoping we could find somebody that wants to donate an old one. Obviously, we don't need top of the line. It's going to be for storing the animal food. It just has to function. Um, but um, so far, we got nothing. So we might have to go uh, check some of these uh, used stores. There's a few of them around. So I think we're going to go try that and see if we can get some lightly used but functional uh fridges and uh like a deep chest freezer and that way we can separate out our animal food in here we do by law uh, by usda regulation do have to have uh certain kinds of animal food separated from other kinds of animal food too it can't just all be like you're not separating just animal and human food which you have to do too um but we have to separate different kinds of animal food so we're gonna have all that set up in here and it'll be great to get it out of my house because uh, it's chaos in there so we're trying to get some photos with the uh, professional camera so we can put them up for the website. No steam. Keep on trying to steal the light. Swipe or no swiping. They're so funny. So check this out. This is a yellow jacket nest on my property that looks like it got, I don't know, raided by something. I don't know. There's honeycomb all over the place. So this is actually outside of my perimeter fence. So maybe this is from a bear, honestly. I mean, this thing got wrecked. And you can see a couple of yellow jackets still in there. There's not much left. You can see them in there. There's a few, but I mean, this thing really got just 
demolished. It was huge. You can see way back in there. Like there's honeycomb back in there. So this was really big. Look at that good girl. You exploring? She loves climbing up on trees. Whoop. Go girl. So we're just taking a little walk on the back 20 now. The clover get out a little bit. I just love getting out here. All right, guys, so now it is nighttime, and we gotta bring Jet inside. Hi, Jet. We got some ground rabbit for him. I put that in the carrier. And he goes usually right in for it. You smell that, buddy? Yeah. Go get it. Come on. No. Don't bite me. Go get it. So sometimes this takes a while. Come on, Jet. Go get your rabbit. Go get that rabbit. Hmm. Maybe he needs a better sniff of it. See? Oh, that smells good, but you can't get it. Unless you go in there. Gotcha. Gotcha. True. Took your time. All right, so now I got to go check on the parrots and uh, make sure they're Tucked away. I like the red glow out there. Is this a um, you know plastic covered kill shed in the woods, like on desk on Dexter, or is it a cold wrapped parrot aviary? Let's find out. Look at Jelly Bean. So funny. Sleeps with his butt up in the air like that. Okay, so everything looks good over here. I'm just gonna get this and make sure this is nice and tight. That's all good. So now we'll walk over here to the cockatiel aviary. Make sure they're all good. And this is uh, something we do every night. I haven't included it in the vlogs yet, but um. I mean, most of the time on the vlogs, I just stop by, I don't know, like 3 p.m., but I'm still working on stuff and doing stuff throughout the day. I just don't want to overdo it and put uh, a never-ending video on, but the work is certainly never-ending, so they look like they're all good. I got to cut this excess off. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but they look like they're all good in here. And then we'll go check on Jumanji. Um, and make sure his heater is on and working. All right, so let's take a look at him. Oh, yeah. Nice and toasty in there. And there he is back there with the heater. So those red things are the heater, so he's right up against them all. So he's doing good. What's that? What's that? That big old tortoise. That big old tortoise. All right, so now I'll come in the reptile room last and check on the heating, make sure everybody's okay. Looks like Olive is very hungry, even though I, I literally fed her yesterday, but see, so she's cruising over. That's a feeding response. She wants to nail somebody. And then just to wrap up the day, guys, here's the night work I got to do. So this is editing um, my photo packages for the Casper tours from the last weekend. So. Even though the animal work is done, the work of the day is not, and it's uh, 9.15, so I'll keep on working on this for a while. But thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you all next time.